you go give her half of your property. Stop marrying girls that are hungry. Update in Mojafun here in your country. Enough is enough. You marry a girl, you tell her, what are you going to do for me? Start asking, start being bold. What are you going to do for me? How much are you paying me as allowance monthly? Hey, man. How much are you going to pay me as allowance monthly? If you don't meet a woman that can pay you allowance monthly, she's not worth your time. Stop marrying beneath you. Adenuga Peking go marry Dangote Peking. They know they marry Bricklayer. You never say Adenuga Peking marry Bricklayer. You never see Dangote Peking. You don't know who Dangote Peking marry. Marry former inspector general of police son. My guy. Big shout out to him. I love him to, to pieces. Jamil. MD. Who Babangida daughter marry? Then you a whole man. You are going to marry somebody that is any half of your salary or struggling to earn what you are earning. They tell you that marry as you they earn ten k a month, they look for women where they collect thirty k a month. Now where your eyes supposed to be with that, and they must find, they must cover, they must good for bedroom. Is that not how they rate us? Is that not how they rate us? A woman will see a rich man will say in Bolaho no big rich. A woman will say a rich man with big baller hair go say it's short. A woman go say a tall rich man with big baller hair she go say it's not handsome. But me, I can pick from the gutter. You can't pick from my own gutter. No, I am picking from the gutter no more. I'm picking from the palace. Now big fish, I want they fry. Hey, hey, hey all of you men. Now, big fish, I want they fry. Any woman that cannot give you a monthly allowance is not worth it. Stop going around after hungry girls. Give yourself some class. Okay, let me be honest with you guys. Uh, this is one of the few uh, messages, sir, uh, that, that the freeze have sent out recently that I like. Honestly, I'm totally in support of Daddy Freeze. Totally in support of Daddy Freeze. And those of four guys that have already made that mistake, okay, we should continue because you know the reason why you marry your wife and you know the reason why you are with your girlfriend. But for those of you who are still there, mm -hmm. my guy, I will advise you to listen to Daddy Freeze. Mm -hmm. Listen to her. Because these girls, eh, they are taking serious advantages of us. Serious advantages of us. They rate us with our, with our pocket, Bola, height, rate us with our face. They cannot marry from our own gutter, but we can marry from their own gutter. So I think two can play the game way more better. So I think it's about time guys start looking for their own comfort. Guys start checking what they will get in a relationship. So start going for someone who is slightly above you. Yeah. Forget, you know, we are we are now, they say we are in the 21st century now, and things are not. And not the same with the old days. Okay, it's good and fine. It's good and fine. So, 21st century men should re involve, should revolve to demand from their girls, to re involve, to start depending on their girls, depending on their women. Let them re evolve now. The girls said they can do way more better. Feminism will tell you they don't need a man, they can do way things way more better than man, they can. Take over the man's rule. Good and fine, guy. So it's time. It's about time. I just like that message though, from Danny Freeze. Uh, I took time to listen to it well. Well. I took time to listen to it well. 
<laughs> and I check it under the comments. No single girl commented. <laughs> All men agree with that phrase. But we are the guests now. No single girl comment. All men. See you now. <laughs> then check this out. Check this video. Kiss Daniel and Yaya sat down. Kiss Daniel was here and Yaya was there. And there were just female fans around them. Do you know how a female fan is sorted in Yaya because of Kiss Daniel? He sat on Yaya's body just to take a picture with Kiss Daniel. Kai, this guy see finish with that. Eh? Do not forget when Yaya did that year. Kukere, Kukere, the great man in your Kukere. But that nobody said in Yaya again. So the sideline, you can almost notice if it was, if that person was even in Yaya. Now, wow, sitting on the lap and taking picture with Kiss Daniel. <laughs> and he too just mellow, still just, uh, just painful for them. You know, just say, okay, okay, we take it. Ah, the cookery master, you know, insult like that, too. Cookery master. The cookery master, you know, they insult like that, too. The whole Inyanya. You know where Inyanya start from? Are you not know, the insult? What disrespect is that now? What disrespect? Then check this out, guys. Yomeli was reportedly slapped. You know, Yomeli slapped the Frosh a few days ago, and the Frosh called out to Yomeli. Yomeli wrote a petition against the Frosh, which I supported, and uh, the Frosh responded, also countering the petition and uh, seeking his own apology as well. Then, as a few days ago, it was reported that Yomeli was slapped, and this is the picture who we'll slapped Yomeli. Someone said, Ma thought there is no evidence to prove you wrong. That slap where you give that boy, where you lie, say you no slap, huh? then give you the slap with the verse. You say the boy come your party uninvited. Person go buy 5k table for you. Hand, hand you, they tell them who to bring come. Him table for your party, table where you collect money for, then still tell the boy make a go do live video. Say you no slap him. A go do him, you can't still go bring 200 million petition. The converse can give you the slap back. Since you say you no deserve respect, you can't the verse. They caught yourself. Well, they say they see slap your melio. They slap him well. Now, according to what they wrote, they say uh, this. This may say I've caught myself. Yeah, uh, I caught myself now several times to uh, tonight on the blood. I swear with my mother's life. Hi, I did me. I've never did it lay a finger on Lil Frosh. I didn't hit him. I didn't punch him. I didn't beat him up. None of my security personnel touched or molested me. You were that guy. You didn't even see the boy. You literally even thought it was CSO guy that had issue with me. I'd rather die than not get justice. I will never forget what you and your uh, white lion did to me tonight. This is the most many things they can ever do to a man. And I have never in my life eat someone in my whole life. Well, it seems like they go beat your melee. That's his face. They beat her well. They beat your belly. 
Ah, uh, he said, you guys made me at my brother fight. He didn't cut himself to frame anyone. He cut himself because he felt I betrayed him. Something I never, ever do. Well, there was a video of young Malik cutting himself. We don't know if that video is real. Why somebody will slap you and the next you will do that to cut yourself? Is there any sense in there? Eh? Say you slap you fresh now, now they give you the same slap back. So as a man, you take the slap and uh, fight back. Bite back. Why are you cutting yourself, your belly? Eh? Why now? You're a strong man now. Uh, you slap Lil Frosh. Now Lil Frosh guys responded. Eh? Lil Frosh main men responded. So why you call the parana? Forget the matter, my guy. <laughs> but the story no clear, sir. For me, the story no clear. It's, it, it doesn't even make any sense to me. I don't really get it. I don't really get the story, but the story no clear at all. No clear.